In this Abacus video tutorial, I'll be showing a few of the different ways your customers can pay for their orders. I'll start with cash payments. I'll select an item from the menu, then tap pay, and now I'll enter in the amount of money that the customer gives me in cash on the pin pad. I've entered 20, and now I'll tap the green cash button. You can see here that I have to give the customer $8 change. I can also print the receipt for the customer or email the receipt to them. In this example, I'll just tap complete sale. Next, I'll demonstrate how to take a payment on an FPOS terminal that is not integrated with Abacus. I'll select the double egg burger again and then tap pay. Now I'll tap credit card and you can see here that I'm prompted to enter in the type of card that the customer has. I'll show you how to change this later in settings if you don't want this screen to appear. I'll select MasterCard in my example. Now you want to make sure that the transaction is approved before you tap yes. Once the transaction is approved, I'll tap yes and the payment is now complete. Now I'll tap complete sale. To disable the card selection screen, we can do this in settings. Just tap the drop down menu, then go to settings and in the system tab, just type require you can see here that it's the first option, require selection of card type upon credit card transaction. I'll just disable this. Now that the option is disabled, I won't be prompted to enter in the credit card that the customer has each time I try to pay with a credit card. Now I'll tap save to server and then tap yes. Now I'll tap the Abacus logo to take me back to the point of sale screen. Lastly, I'll show you the different ways that you can take split payments using Abacus. I'll just create an order. Now that I've created my order, I'll go down to pay and then tap split payment. You can see at the top left of the screen that split payment is set to item mode. Here I can just select individual items that I want to pay for from the order. I've selected a double egg burger and a 600 ml coke. Now I'll take a $20 cash payment from the customer and then tap the green cash button. Here the change is displayed that I have to give the customer. Now that that transaction is complete, I'll tap continue payment. At the bottom of the screen, you can see the amount that has been paid and also the remaining amount. The second customer will pay for all of these items. The customer pays with a $50 note, so I'll enter $50 and then tap the green cash button. The change to give the customer is displayed here. Now that the order has been completely paid off, I can complete the sale. Now I'll show you split payment in portion mode. I'll just create another order. Now that I've created my order, I'll tap pay at the bottom of the screen and then tap split payment. Now I'll switch to portion mode. In this example, the customer doesn't have enough cash to pay for the total order amount. The customer wants to pay $10 cash and put the remainder on credit card. To take the cash payment, I'll enter 10 and then tap done. Here you can see that we have the payment divided up into two portions. We have the $10 cash payment, which I'll process now. If the customer hands you a $10 note, you don't have to enter it on the pin pad here. You can skip straight to the green cash button. Now I'll continue the payment. You can see here that the $10 in cash has now been paid. The customer will now pay for the second portion with a credit card. I'll select this portion and then tap credit card. This is how you can use split payment in portion mode to pay for orders. Now you can see that the whole order has been paid for, so I'll tap complete sale. I'll now demonstrate how you can take a split payment and divide the total amount between the number of guests. I'll just enter an order quickly. Now that I've added some items to the order, I'll tap pay and then select split payment. As we did previously, I'll select portion mode. However, now I'll tap equally so I can divide the bill between the number of guests at a table. In my example, there are three guests at the table, so I'll enter three and then tap done. Now you can see that I have three payments for 
which total $54. The first guest hands me a $20 note, so I'll enter 20 on the pin pad and then tap cash. I'll continue the payment for the second customer. I'll select their portion and they want to pay with a credit card, so I'll tap credit card. I'll select the credit card that they have and then process the payment. Now I'll tap continue payment and process the last portion. The customer pays with a $50 note, so I enter 50 and then tap the green cash button. Now that the order has been paid for completely, I'll tap complete sale.